on July 8th at 9.04 p.m. 2020, heaven got an angel. Rest in peace, Papa. Rest in peace, Papa. I love you. I believe that night, his mother and father, the grandparents, his two brothers, his two sisters, were waiting to pave the way for him with open arms. I believe he saw them that last day and he was ready to join them. As hard as it is to lose him, he's in a better place. And I'm so thankful that my dad, my papa, was so courageous that he picked up his young family and traveled across the seas to an unknown world. Waiting for him was his brother, Kutlop. And that was all he knew. He couldn't speak the language, but he worked so hard day and night. He worked so hard so that we could have a better life. And he built our home in Salem with love. And then he watched us grow and he watched us bloom and he watched the family expand as he had grandchildren and great grandchildren. What a life he gave us. He will be forever, forever cherished and he will never be forgotten. He leaves behind a legacy of love of strength, of someone who dreamed of a better life and achieved it for all of us. I love you, Baba, forever and ever and ever. You've left a void that cannot be filled, but I will cherish all the memories. When the eye came in, I noticed your father, he was tall and so blue eyes, that's what I thought. <laughs> And, uh, but that's it, he never danced with me. You all set? Yes. You think you got your walk down the aisle straight? I hope so. Okay. <laughs>
Make it like this. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead, Marty. Mikey blows.